In this video, we will show you how to commit destructive changes with Capato. Destructive changes can be used to remove unwanted components and clean up your org or your repository branches. In this example, we have identified the main competitor custom field in the lead object that is no longer required for our business in the production environment. It's important to mention that Capato won't delete the component in the source organization. This action has to be performed manually. Capato will delete the component in the destination organization once the user story is promoted, so no further manual deletions are needed. That being said, let's start with deleting the component in the dev environment. Good! Let's go back to the org where Capato is installed and open the user story record where we want to commit our destructive change. Click on Commit Changes. Select Destructive Changes from the Git Operations Pick List. In the Metadata Grid, select the field we just deleted in the previous step and click on Commit Destructive Changes. Capata will create a feature branch out of master where the custom field will be removed. Additionally, if the custom field is referenced in other components, these references will also be deleted. Navigate to your repository to review the changes. As you can see in the feature branch, upon custom field deletion, the object, profiles, and permission sets files were also updated. Return to the user story and scroll down to the metadata grid. You can verify that the related components are included within the user story selections, flagged as Git upserts. Easy, right? Now you have the basics to start performing destructive changes with Capato.